Hello y'all, welcome back. So we continue with the design of our main interface. Let me just expand this a little bit. Okay, that's it. So, now the first thing is to set my divider location. Divider location is to set the size of this split pane so that the right hand side will become smaller while the left hand side will become bigger. So let me set it to 150 press enter you can see the size of the, le of the left hand side has increased so that's mean of my divider location so the next thing I want to do is to right click the split pane at the left hand side and click on add from palettes swing containers and I want to enclose with my panel then I'll come to the desktop, right click, add from palette, swing containers. I want to add my desktop pane. So you can see the divider location has become or has been set to default. So I will still need to increase my divider location. To increase that, I'll make sure everything is highlighted, which means this particular split pane, everything will be highlighted. Then let me change the size to 160 press enter then it has been changed so I don't like the color of my desktop pin now before I go let me just preview my design there is a particular shortcut here to preview my design you come here preview design click on this you can see this is black and this is almost white now to make sure this particular color is changed then I can go let me just click on this desktop pane. I've clicked it here so it has been highlighted with the red sign cover or the orange sign covered. Then I'll go to my background. You can see it is black here by default. Click on this and choose any color of your choice. If you like this, you click on OK. So let's say this is the color of my choice. I'll have to leave it like this. Then let me reduce my divider location to 155 so you click you highlight everything then let me change it to 155 press enter so i'm done with that now before i proceed let me teach you one thing and that is setting a particular class to be the main class so that when this application is being run it is that particular class that will be appearing by default and how do you do that it's very simple what do i mean we come to projects now there are many projects here we have the staff management we have the sample we have the employee the one that is having a darker color which is bolder will be my main project if you want the employee management to be the main project, you right click, you set as main project, then it becomes darker. So because I'm working on the staff management, I will right click staff management, you set as main project. And if you click on this plus sign, you can expand, expand, and you see we have the main interface class and the staff management class. Now I want to make my main interface to be executed by default. What I'm going to do is very simple. You come to source packages, properties, click on run, you browse on the main class, and you choose staff management, which is the main interface set as main class. Click on OK. Then you are done with that. So if you click on look at there's a run main project shortcut here. Click on run. Then you see the output. This is the main interface. So you can see you can drag it anywhere you like. So in the next tutorial, I'm still going to teach you how to adjust the look and feel of this particular main interface. And I'm going to tell you what look and feel really means. And I'm still going to tell you how to centralize the output of your application. So the rest assured, you are going to learn everything step by step let me just close this you can also close this 
Now let's continue with the design of our main interface. What do I do? It's very simple. At this left hand side, I want different buttons to be there. But before I put my buttons, I want a label called operation. Let's say staff operation. I'll come to my label, double click, drop one here. You right click, you edit text. Say what staff operations. I can change the properties of this label by going to the font. Sorry, you can change the font to bold and give it a size of uh, 14. Click on OK. You can see by default. It has changed the size and the appearance of this particular text or label. So under the staff operation, I want to add different buttons. You come here, button one. You hold the shift key, then you click. Drop the second one, click. Still holding the shift key. Third one, click. Fourth one, click. And I need the last one, so you release the shift and you press OK. So, which means I've dropped five buttons on this particular interface. So, stay tuned. We continue the design of our main interface in the next class. Bye.